the latest version of the Backfrap MCP has different ways to be configured, you know, for convenience. And today we're going to see multiple ways to configure it for Cursor, so stay tuned. It doesn't matter the way you choose to configure a Backfrap MCP, the very first step is to get an account key. You can do that by going to this drop down menu on your Backfrap account, clicking Account Keys, giving your account key a name. Today I'm configuring for Cursor, so I'll name this Cursor. Click this plus sign, and then I'll copy the key value. We'll need this information later on. If you are like me, more of a terminal person, you can install and configure the Backfrap MCP by running the comments that are in the description of this video. So here in Cursor, I'm going to run npm install minus g for a global install at backfrap slash mcp dash installer. Hit enter. And once it installs, I can run the command mcp dash installer space install space cursor or the name of my IDE dash dash account dash key and then the key that I got from my backfrap account. Hit enter. And once it's run, I can go to Cursor, Settings, Cursor Settings, scroll down all the way to Tools and Integrations, and here you'll find the Backfrap MCP installed and configured. Yet another way is to use npx to install it and configure it by running npx at backfrap slash mcp installer space install space the name of our ID, in my case Cursor, space dash dash account dash key, and then the key that you got from your Backfrap account. Hit enter. And once this command runs, you can go to Cursor, Settings, Cursor Settings, all the way to Tools and Integrations, scroll down, and here is the Backfrap MCP already working. It is also possible to configure it by using Cursor itself. You need to go to Cursor, Settings, Cursor Settings, then to Tools and Integrations, and in here, click Add Custom MCP. Inside here, you can paste the JSON that is written in the description of this video, noticing to change the key that you copied from the Backfrap website. Once you save this file and close it, it might take a while, but once you get the green light over here, your cursor is finally configured and ready to run with Backfrap. Once you've got the Backfrap MCP configured, you can start using it to do all sorts of operations in your Backfrap account. In my case, deploy the contents of my this folder to my new MCP app that already exists in my Backfrap account. Now, if you go to your Backfrap account and My Apps, and in my case, New MCP, go to Cloud Code, and inside Functions and Web Hosting, inside my public folder, you'll see the Assets folder containing all the files and the FAV icon and index file on its root. So there you have it. Multiple ways to configure and use the Backfrap MCP with Cursor. So, which one are you going to use?